In Module 2, we will cover how to get started with your QuickBooks company file, including the steps on how to create a new company file, getting in, around, and out of a company file, and how to open two QuickBooks files at the same time. Let's move to Section 1, How QuickBooks Files Work. Before we create our company file, I first want to make an important point about installing QuickBooks. If you're working for an organization that already has QuickBooks installed, this isn't something you need to worry about. However, if you are responsible for installing QuickBooks, the good news is that the installation instructions are pretty straightforward. What you do need to keep in mind, however, is that QuickBooks is sensitive when it comes to program file save locations. If you happen to have multiple drives on your computer where data is stored, I recommend saving QuickBooks to the drive where most of your other program files are saved, which would normally be the C drive under Program Files. Speaking from experience, I find that issues arise with opening and restoring backup copies if the program is stored at a different file location. I also want to discuss the technical nature of QuickBooks files that you're working on. Any company file you are working on will have an extension .qbw in the file name. In addition to the .qbw file, QuickBooks automatically creates files in the same location where this .qbw file is saved. These include a .nd file, a .qbw.dsn file, a .qbw.nd file, and a .qbw.tlg file. It also creates subfolders necessary for the .qbw file to operate. I don't want to go into the details of what each of these files do, but what I want to stress is that all of these files should be placed in the same folder, and this folder should only contain the QuickBooks files and folders similar to what I did here. The reason for this is to prevent any of these files getting misplaced or deleted because if you delete any of these files, you may not be able to open your company file anymore, which obviously can create a big problem if you do not back up your file. So please make sure that all of these files and folders are in its own folder. Now that I've explained about installing QuickBooks and how the files work, Let's now have a look at what we see when we open QuickBooks for the first time. This is the screen you'll initially see when you load QuickBooks. You also need to make sure that when you close your company file, you're on this screen as well, which I will discuss a bit later. Right now, our list of companies that we recently opened is blank. And this is expected as we have not opened any QuickBooks files yet. However, once you open a file and close it, when you go back to the screen, it will contain the name of that file along with the other files you've recently opened. This is useful if you want to quickly go into a company file without being forced to browse for that actual file on your computer. All you need to do is double click on it and you'll be in, so it's a great time saver. Now if you are opening a QuickBooks file that's already been created, but never opened on your version of QuickBooks before, you will need to go to the top left under File, click Open or Restore Company, open a company file, hit Next, and then browse for the .qbw file on your computer. You'll also see the Edit List option on the right. And what this does is that if you've got multiple items on this list and you'd like to actually delete them from the list, you can do that here. Your options down here at the bottom are to create a new company, which is what we'll do shortly. You can also open or restore an existing company, which will bring you to the same place as I showed a moment ago on browsing for a QuickBooks file on your computer. If you are in the situation where you need to restore a backup copy of a QuickBooks file, it's similar to opening up a regular QuickBooks.qbw file. What you need to do is click on the Open or Restore Existing Company back in the File menu. So over here. And then click here. 
What this will do is that it will convert the backup file, which has the extension name ending in .qbb, into a regular .qbw file, which is the working QuickBooks company file. Sometimes you may need to restore a portable file, which is similar to a backup file except the file size is a lot smaller and is sometimes used when people want to share QuickBooks files without taking a ton of data space. A portable file has the file name ending in .qbm, m as in Mary. So you would restore it by clicking this option here instead. Going back to the main screen, we will see there is another option at the bottom called open a sample file. If you click this, it will essentially open up a file that QuickBooks has created for a fake company in a certain industry listed on the drop down here. The purpose of this is to give you an example on how you should set your real company file up if you happen to be in the same industry. It's not meant to start your company file from scratch. Let's now proceed with actually creating a new company file from scratch using the easy step interview. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see more QuickBooks Canada videos from Simon Says It, click over there. And click over there to upgrade to the full QuickBooks Canada course.